so what I would do is I would go back to my element size I would not provide a size so I would go right click on this and click delete which means I'm happy with Fluence own mesh which is hexahedral and I go back to mesh and I say generate mesh so what it's technically doing now it's generating the mesh without the size which is what we had before um, terrible shame we could not get the one meter mesh but I hope you get the m message about how good the mesh was and what it is now so as you can see now it looks l like this compared to before where it was much better but nonetheless let's move forward because we need to find out how to run the model so once you're satisfied with the mesh whether that is the default mesh or whether that is a mesh of your own choice once you are satisfied we need to now start creating something that we call named selections named selections are the points by which you would start to simulate your model and so named selections we need to define inlets we need to define outlets we need to define volumes and we need to define areas of symmetry so let me show you how this works uh, we've got options here to select a vertex an edge a face and a body so if I go to a face and um, I need to change back to single select from box and if I click here so I can now select any face that I want so if I want my airflow to start from this face if I want this to be my inlet I would click on the face right click create name sel selection and I would give it a name of inlet on the top when I give the name of the inlet so now I want this to be my inlet if I go to the other side and naturally I need to create an outlet so I select the face and I go to name selection and I say outlet and it appears here so name selections now I have my inlet starting point and I have my outlet which is the end point on the other three surfaces I want my air to bounce back I don't want the air to be going out from the other surfaces but I want them to bounce back into the uh, computational domain so anything that we have inside this is called a computational domain so I want the air to remain in the computational domain so I would select the other faces I would, I would select this hold control select the other face turn it back hold control select the third face and go down press control and select the fourth face so I've selected four faces now which are neither inlets neither outlets so therefore I would right click click on name selection and call it symmetry symmetry is an indication that this surface will neither be an inlet and neither be an outlet and it will bounce the air back into the computational domain click OK so we've got inlet outlet symmetry and now we need to select our object of interest which is in the middle so for selecting this since it's embedded I would need to go to the box select option again so I go to box select now and I draw a box around this so as we can see it is now selected the faces only of the center part and that's the beauty of box select I can draw a box and it can select things inside it so I can draw a box around this name selection create name selection and I will call it circle wall circle wall technically is just a name to the object that you want to define you can define the object around it or you can define each and every face of the object as well depending on what your point of interest is so if you want to know the pressure on the circle at the front wall and then at the back wall um, you can define it as two different things rather than rather than just um, um, one so for example if I select the whole circle everything is selected but if I do it in a more structured way so I go to X and I only draw a box around the front object so as you can see in tiny bit of green here it has only selected the front part of the circle so I can call it if this is my inlet then I can call this one circle front wall and I can do a similar thing on the other side and I can say circle back wall depending on 
um, how detail I want to go in and then I can probably select the circle um, surface as well but that's not a point of interest because that's a curve so I want to see the pressure on the front side and then pressure on the back side so what I have now is inlet good then I've got my outlet even better got s symmetry on all sides and I've got the circle front wall and the circle back wall so technically we are now all set to run our model we have modeled it we have meshed it we have seen different type of meshes I have shown you how to differentiate between a tetra and a hex hexa mesh then we tried to increase the element size which clearly was taking a lot of time so we switched back to our normal mesh and now we are ready to run our model so we can close the mesh window now finish the second part um, this is a new tab for parameters we don't need it at the stage but as we can see the mesh is still not done so the mesh is not connected to the setup because it shows a lightning sign so right click and click on update project either from the top menu here or from update here so now what the update process does is that it connects your geometry to the mesh and now to the setup so once the update process is finished um, then we would be ready to go into the setup 